Hi guys, this is just a quick video on a little life hack for you. Um, you all know it's good practice to use, you know, heat shrink tubing when you're cutting your wires and making your terminals. But there's been occasions where I've actually crimped my terminal on but forgot to add the heat shrink and unfortunately, you know, I'd already put a terminal on the other end. So I wasn't able to get my heat shrink over the terminal which was a bit of a nightmare you could wrap it with electric tape but what i do and it's just a, a really simple solution for me is once i've got my wire cut and i'm just going to make one up here just to give you a rough idea so i'm just cutting this wire and you see i'm just twisting and then pulling and you'll see the insulation starts to come away which is great this is a great little tool very cheap and then normally what you do is you'd get your terminal place it on and of course crimp but you need to remember to put your heat shrink on first because if you don't it's actually a good idea to put on before you cut the wire but if you do go ahead and you've crimped a terminal like this I just lean it against there yeah. so I've crimped it and I want my heat shrink over that it won't go so get yourself just a pair of scissors Place your heat shrink on the scissors and then stretch it, just opening the scissors. You can rotate it a couple of times. Like so. And hopefully we'll get it to fit. You may have to do it a few times. But there you go, so that's that on. Of course you want to make sure your surface here is free of heat shrink and then it's just a case of shrinking it with heat you can use a heat gun I prefer this method it's just a lot easier and it doesn't need electricity just some gas but yeah it's just a little hack for you in case you're ever in the situation I found myself in a couple of times just by I guess rushing but yeah, just a little life hack. Uh, please like and subscribe for more of these little tips. Thank you.